Good evening, my great supporters, my great viewers. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you once again to our channel. So today we are looking at math from one, a topic known as squares and square roots. That's our first lesson on this particular topic. So our subtopic today is square roots. Our objective being finding square roots of numbers less than one. For, for us to be able to achieve this particular objective, we are going to have one question and we are going to go through it together slowly for you to be able to know how you can be able to find uh, square roots of numbers less than one. Question of today says evaluate. And what we are evaluating is the square root of 0 0.0004. I'm saying square root of 0 0.0004 Be ready wherever you are so that we go step by step. As you can be able to see, I've said solution. Okay. The first step that we are going to take here is to ensure that we write 0 0.00046839 in standard form. So we can now comfortably say when we have been given the square root of 0 0.00046839, we can write this one in standard form. By maintaining the square root, yes, then we move the decimal, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know most of you, when you are writing numbers in standard form, this one, you can write it as 4.6839, 10 times 10, this power, the number of steps you make, like in this case, for, for, for the decimal to be at 4, then it means you, you could have moved 5 steps. Please see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the 5 steps. So in standard form, this number should be 4.6839 times 10 raised power minus 5. When you move the decimal, Towards your right hand side, like now you can be able to see the decimal is moving from this given point in that particular direction. That's from your left uh, towards your right hand side. Then uh, the power will be negative. But if you are, you are moving the decimal, that's from uh, your right hand side towards your left, then it is going to be positive. The power is going to be positive. So in this case, it is going to be minus. If you were the one doing this, I know you could prefer saying that this number in standard form is 4.6839 times 10 is power minus 5. Now, I want to remind you something. Here we are dealing with the square root. And we know the power that we are going to get, in this case, we are saying we have minus 5. Ask yourself. When we are dealing with square roots, the power should be divided by 2. Uh, that one means five minus 5 should be divided by 2. Minus 5 divided by 2 will give you minus 2.5. So that's a decimal number. So to avoid that, you must make one more step so that we obtain a number that is divisible by uh, 2. So 5 is not divisible by 2. That's why it is, it is not right in this particular case to say that this number, when written in standard form, will be 4.6839 times 10 to the power minus 5. The minus 5, which is on the power side, is not divisible by uh, 2. And if you are dealing with the cube root, you will ensure that the power you get is divisible by 3. In this case, we are dealing with square roots. The power should be a number that is divisible by 2. That's the power should be an even number. So now that we have moved five steps and we have reached that four, then we must move one more step so that now 
the number of steps becomes six. So you can be able to see what I'm doing. The decimal should move from this given point and move one, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, in standard form, we are supposed to say 46.839 times 10 raised to the power minus 6. So this is the right standard form of this given number because we are dealing with square roots. So once we have this, we know that we must use uh, tables for us to be able to obtain this. We are using tables in this particular question. I forgot to say using uh, tables evaluate or find the square root. We are using tables for your information. That's why we are trying to write this number in standard form. And then we look, the, uh, we look for its square root from our tables. Now, in our tables, we are supposed to have figures which are having four significant figures. And if we count the number of significant figures in this particular number, they are one, two, three, four, five. So we must round off this number to four significant figures. So the next step is writing this number as 46.84 because this is the first significant figure, second, third, and fourth. So we will look at the fifth. If it is more than five, it is going to affect this three by one. Therefore, we say times 10 raised to the power minus six. Then remember, we are finding the square root. Now, as you can be able to see, 46.84 is in four significant figures. We can easily find it in our mathematical tables. Now, together, I want us to now find the square root of 46.84 from our tables. If we look at our tables, this is the first column. We must look for 46, then 0.8. Under column 8, we go across together. We will have... Six, remember six is there, then point eight four one one. Then we look for four in the last column here. Four is up there. Then when we go down, we get twenty-nine. It is twenty-nine that is in the fourth column. Therefore, we are supposed to uh, take this twenty-nine and add it here. And add it here. That means we are going to have eleven. Added to 29, and that will give us 40. So, from our tables, the, the square root of 46.8, 46.84 will be 6.8440. Uh, that's the right answer when you refer to your mathematical tables. Then, times 10 raised power, this number here must be divided by 2. So we will say minus 6 divided by 2, which will be 6.8440 times 10 raised power minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. And for, for your information, we know that when our number is being raised power 3, we can remove the minus by finding the inverse of 10. But this means we are going to have 6.8440 times uh -huh, 1 over 10. The symbol of 10 is 1 over 10. Now, this particular uh, my sign, that's a minus, will go. The next step we, we, we will now uh, go to is ensuring that we find the cube root of 1 over 10. 6.8440 times 1 cubic is 1. 10 cubic is 1000. So this means our next step will be 6.8440 divided by, this is like we are dividing this particular number here by 1000. So when we divide it by 1000, we get 0 0.006844. There's no need of us putting the zero, and this becomes the right answer for this particular question. So the answer for this particular question here is 0 0.006844. So you can be able to uh, look at it, move step by step, and try to prove whether you can be able to arrive at this given uh, answer. We are going to have our next lesson very soon. So if you have a question, kindly go to the comments. 
and ask your question there so that when we are going to upload new video you, we can be able to answer it what i can be able to request you keep watching share the link so that many people can like this channel come and subscribe or support us in other ways for me i want to say thank you for the support that you, you have really given us so far so good thank you see you in the next lesson bye bye